What's going on guys? Hope all is well. Coming to you again with another daily uh, midday prayer. Hopefully I get the video up right uh, after I, I, I shoot this so you guys can actually uh, benefit from it. This is just going to be a prayer out of Psalm 91. Again, I've learned this principle of, um, of praying through the Bible from Pastor Bob Rogers. Not only can you read the Bible, but some of the Psalms and and some of the, the promises in the Bible, you can actually pray them unto God. You can actually pray the Bible as well. And it's a, it's a way that you can even increase your own personal prayer life. So hopefully this benefits you in some way or the other. Again, this is no substitute for your personal prayer life. You should be spending time with God each and every day. In my opinion, if you're a seasoned Christian, nothing less than an hour a day, talking to God, giving Him thanks, um, and, and coming before Him in prayer so that there's that communication. But hopefully these get you along the right track, and I pray that everything that we pray for today will be answered in the name of Jesus. So I'll be praying out of Psalm 91. Lord God, we give you thanks and praise today, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. We come before you, O oh God, in, in that mighty name of Jesus because of that sacrifice on that cross 2,000 years ago. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you because you are worthy of all praise and there is none like you in all the heavens and all the earth. And this day we say, hallowed be your name, Father. Holy is your name. Lord, we know your word says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, my prayer today is for everyone looking at this video that they will abide in your presence. They will dwell in your presence, O God. They will seek you face to face. They will want a deeper walk with you, a closer relationship with you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you're the one who draws them. Draw them nearer to you as they seek you. Incline your ear to hear from their prayers, O Lord God. Let their, their prayers not be in vain, Lord Jesus, but you act on their behalf. Father, in the name of Jesus, let them stay in your presence forever. Let us say of the Lord that you are our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Lord, let us have trust in you, despite what we see with our physical eyes. My prayer today, O oh God, is that we will turn on the faith eyes within us. That, Lord, we will see things in faith and not just with these natural eyes. Lord, your word teaches that surely you will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Lord God, this day, I give you thanks and praise for your deliverance power, for your power to deliver us from every trap, every attack of the enemy. Lord, we know your word teaches that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, you will condemn. Lord God, and I thank you for, for delivering us from every situation right now and from every trick and trap of the enemy. Your word says that you will cover us with your feathers, O God, and under your wing shall we trust. Your truth will be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid for the terror by night or for the arrow that flieth by day. Lord, let us have refuge in you. You be our strong tower, our deliverer, our God in whom we can trust, our protector, our provider, Lord God. Lord, give us that hedge of protection over our lives every, every day because of that sacrifice upon that cross 2,000 years ago. Let your Holy Spirit guide us everywhere we ought to go, every step we take throughout the day, Lord God. Let us walk in the paths of righteousness as you guide us and give us your divine protection, Lord God. Lord, we know that a thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come to us, O God. Lord, we will be delivered. It shall not come nigh thee. Only with our eyes, O God, I declare this day, shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you, O God, has, has made you, O Lord, which is our refuge, even the Most High, our habitation. Lord, we make you our habitation and our refuge and our strength today. Where else can we get strength, O God, if it's not from you? I pray that everyone who's looking at this, if they need a supernatural outpouring of your spirit and strength from above to overcome every situation, 
situation that right now, oh God, you will give them strength. You will equip them, oh God. You would use this video as a tool, Lord God, to give them your refuge, to give them your strength, to give them that protection and divine healing that they need. Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be done. Lord, we declare that no evil will befall us and no plague shall come nigh our dwelling in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that you will give your angels charge over us to keep us in all your ways. They shall bear us up in their hands so we would not dash our feet against stones, O oh God. Lord, we pray that you would send your angels to protect us and provide for us as well, O oh God. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are the protector. You are, you are the one who owns a cattle on a thousand hills, the wealth in every mine. And we can, when we consider the works of your hands, it is truly marvelous in our sight, O oh Lord God. This planet you have made is marvelous. And I give you thanks and praise, O oh God, for your protection and your, your angels of protection that you will send to guide us and to go before us along with your mighty Holy Spirit, Lord God, so that we will prosper everywhere the sole of our foot shall tread. Lord, I know that we will tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, that we will trample under our feet because of the power that you have given us. It is because you have set your love upon us. Therefore, we will be delivered in you, O God. We will set you on high because we have known your name. Lord God, Father in heaven, we know the name of your son, Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior. And because of that name that has all power, we know that every force of wickedness has to flee from the lives of your people watching this. Lord, use us as a point of contact. And the same grace that you have given me this day, Lord God, to trample and triumph over every work of the enemy. The same anointing that breaks the yoke that is on my life. I pray that you extend it to the lives of others so that the enemy will not mess with them, O oh God. They will not be tormented anymore. Satan, I declare that you have to take your filthy hands off of God's property in the name of Jesus. Because we serve the true and living God. Jesus, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Holy Spirit, we just welcome you into our hearts and our minds this day. You shall call upon us, O God, and we will answer you. You will be with us in trouble, and you will deliver us, and we will honor you. Lord, despite the circumstance, despite what we go through, let us draw near to you as you have given it all for us on that cross in the name of Jesus. With long life will you satisfy us and show us your salvation. Lord, I pray for long life on this earth. I pray for eternal life in heaven for everyone that's watching this. That they will come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. That they will give their hearts to you, O oh God. That they will bow before that throne in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know, O oh God, that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord, O oh Jesus. We know it will happen. This day I pray that everyone that watches this video will come willingly and not forcefully to the throne of grace this day and they will be saved because of your saving grace in their lives. Father, I give you thanks and praise for everyone watching this today. Every need, let it be met in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let every need be met, every sickness be healed, that every sickness will not end in death, but in life, that it will be for the glory of God, and not because of the tricks and trials and traps of the enemy. If you're watching this today, thank you for praying with me. Lord, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray today. Amen. I thank you for everyone that, that watches this today. You know, thanks for tuning in each and every day uh, for joining me for these prayers. I'm going to just be reading Psalms, praying through them. Um, it's, it's a spiritual journey that I'm taking myself on to increase my personal prayer language. Read a Psalm, pray what it says. If it says something that warns you of something you should not do in your life, pray that God gives you the strength to overcome temptation and deliver you from evil so that you won't commit that act. If you read a psalm of encouragement like Psalm 91, pray through the psalm. Pray it unto God. Don't just read it. Take it into your spirit and pray the psalm. And you know, some people might be watching this say, well, oh, the Lord said we just have to say the Our Father prayer. Well, if you're satisfied in your faith, praying a five-minute prayer every day and not going deeper into a walk with the Lord, 
that's your business. But I'm telling you what I'm doing personally. I was inspired by Pastor Bob Rogers. I'm just following a simple instruction that I felt the Lord lay on my heart for me to grow spiritually. And I'm sharing this with you each and every day. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Get in this word. Read this word more and more each and every day. Pray this word more and more each and every day. Spend time with God because he loves you and Jesus loves you too, guys. Have an awesome day today. God bless you. Take care.